Squeeze pages are a great way to get people to sign up to your mailing list. What you have is some sort of a freebie, generally a free report or a free piece of software or something like that and people have to sign up to your mailing list to get it. Most of them are actually very simple HTML pages and I'm going to show you how to make one in this video. I'm going to use a software program called NView for this demonstration. This is a free HTML editor which you can download from this website here. And this is going to be a very simple HTML page and in order to keep the information all together and constrained I'm going to create a table to put it into so come up here to where it says table and click on the icon and I want the table to be three columns by two rows so I just highlight that area there and then click and you can see we now have the table inserted so I'm just going to select the table because I need to align it in the middle of the frame so come here to table and table properties and where it says table alignment I want to make that center and then click on apply now you can if you wish have the background to the HTML page one color and then have the table contents background white um, I'm actually going to keep it all white for this demonstration but if you wanted to alter the background color you would simply click on this button here and we'll click on OK now the way I'm going to lay out this table is I'm going to have this top row be the headline then I'm going to have the report cover in this column here on the left there'll be the benefits bullet points in the center column and the subscription box here in this column on the right okay to put in my headline I would need to get all these columns here joined together so I'm going to come up here to table select and row and you see we've now selected all of the columns in this top row and then again table and join selected cells and there you go we now have the entire top part of this table as one giant area and now I'm going to put in my headline I'm going to center the headline and I'm going to select it as heading 1 and I'm just going to type in something simple there we go now that doesn't look very appealing so I'm going to change the color and typeface so I'm going to let's put an exclamation mark there there we go so I'm going to highlight all this just by holding down the left mouse button and then dragging the mouse cursor over the text and I'm going to come here to format and font and the one that I'm going to use is going to be Verdana which is right down at the bottom of this list you can see I've got quite a quite a large number of uh, fonts and typefaces on this computer so select Verdana and I want it to be a sort of a dark red color so I'm going to click here on this color block here and then you can see it's already my last picked color so I'm going to select it this, this one here and then click on OK and there we go okay now I'm going to save my squeeze page so click here on the save icon and I'm going to give it a name and let's just call it squeeze page and click on OK and then we'll make it a more URL friendly 
name. And click on save. Okay, now I want to add the report cover into the squeeze page, so click here on the column over here on the far left on the second row and then come up here to insert and image and then I need to choose the file that I'm going to import so click here on choose file and this is the one I'm going to import free report cover png so click there and click on open and then it's prompted me for the alternate text so I'm just going to call this free report and then click on OK. Now don't worry if all of a sudden when you've put something in it scrunches everything over to one side. That's perfectly normal and it will balance itself out later on. OK, now I need to insert my benefit bullet points which I'm going to do in the center column. So I need to make sure that this section here is selected for bullet points but first of all I'm just going to put a bit of text in and I'm going to highlight that and make it bold and now I'm going to insert my bullet points so here we have benefit 1 benefit 2 and so on and now I need to put in my sign up box which I'm going to do in this column here on the far right so I need to add a bit of information first Okay, now I need to put in the sign up box. So I'm just going to put in a couple of lines there. And then I'm going to insert the HTML code. Now I've got this saved as a file in this text file here. And you can see this is a standard Aweber sign up box. So I'm just going to highlight all that and right click to copy that to my computer's clipboard. And now I'm going to come here where it says insert HTML and I'm going to paste it into this box here and then click on insert. And you can see now that is inserted into the squeeze page. Okay, I'm going to come down so it's outside the form. And something that people are a bit nervous about with squeeze pages is that they're afraid that you're going to inundate them with spam or you're going to sell their name and email address off to other people so you want to put something at the bottom to reassure them that you're not going to do that so something like this and there we go that's done now I don't really like the typeface that has been chosen so I'm going to change that in a similar way to how I set the typeface here so I'm going to select these two cells and then come up here to format and font and I'm going to set this one Helvetica Arial and you can see now that's changed all of it let's just take that one line out just backspace there and that looks okay so now all I need to do is to save it that's that and one other thing that you can do with NView is you can actually spell check the page so let's just do that just to make sure I haven't made any typos 
and there's no misspelled words so I can close that now I need to do is preview it in my web browser so we'll just do that and that looks a bit crowded I'm not sure I actually like that so let's just go back into NView and change this around a bit let's first of all make this center column the text align at the top so what I'm going to do now is format and table cell properties and where it says content alignment vertical I'm going to have that go up at the top and I'm also going to alter the size because this center column seems to be a bit squeezed so I'm going to make the width to be 33% of the table and then click on apply and that looks a bit better so again save come back to the browser and refresh and again not entirely happy with that either so let's just do the same with this column here over on the far right again we're going to go format table cell properties vertical and top and then apply and then click on OK and save it and once again refresh and you can see that looks a bit better but now what I want to do is just to outline the sign up box a bit so that it stands out from the rest of the squeeze page so again we'll just do that what I'm going to do is actually put this as a table within a table so that I can have an edge to it without having edges to all of this information here so first thing I'm going to do is to create another table so come up here and go to table insert table and I just want one by one so we'll click on that you can see it's forcing it all out of space so I'm going to format that so come here to format and table cell properties and then click on table and then I want to have it as where it says percentage of cell and we'll have that as 100 percent and then click apply and then click OK and then because of course this table cell is now uh, a different width I'm going to adjust that as well so again format table cell properties and I'm going to have that as width is going to be percentage of table from the drop down menu and put in 33% and apply and OK alright now what I need to do is to move this here into this table so I'm going to go to where it says source and I'm going to scroll down here to where you can see this table here and I'm going to highlight all of that
right down to the bottom. So the bottom of the form there, in fact I'll take to the bottom of the center. I'm going to right click that and go cut. So I'm taking that out and now I'm going to paste it into this other table that I've just created. And so we're going to insert that into here. Control V. And then when I go back to normal, you'll see it's nesting it inside here. So now I'm going to select this outer table and we go to table table properties and where it says border I'm going to have that as one pixel and then spacing I'm going to set that to zero and padding I'm going to set that to zero and table alignment I'm going to set to center and then I'll click on apply and then click on OK and save that and then preview it again there we go that looks a lot better doesn't it I just need to put another line here in front of we so I should do that just carriage return and save it again and then again click here and that looks a whole lot better doesn't it and now all I have to do is upload all this to my web space and start driving traffic to it so there you go that's how you can create a squeeze page